Nazala qui n'a gai, côté pâté pas simple réaliste, destiné à la mort. Assujetti par le ténèbre, bon mon anga et sala qui est forme vide. Nakanga ma cana flagrant délit, Nazanga ka et le quoi coloba. Kasi tango na koutani na Jésus, Pikamba kokama, a kona nenga te. Na telemi asiminga lo boko. In the midst of confusion, tribulation, attack, in the midst of all this that you see happening in the world, the devil is at work and pushing so much in order to take people in his domain, her way is supposed to be. But I want you to understand that I see the spirit of the Lord rising and I see God overriding the power of Satan and I see mighty angels and mighty army of God is coming. In, 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 in the preservation of the sins. Whatever it is, stay tuned and stay put. Know that God is in control, as the Bible says. Be still and know that I am God. Zala qui n'a gai, côté pâté pas simple réaliste, destiné à la mort. Assujetti par le ténèbre, bon mon anga et zala qui est forme vide. Nakanga ma cana flagrant délit, Nazanga ka et le quoi coloba. Kasi tango na koutani na Jésus, Pikamba kokama, a kona nenga te. La télé mi asiminga lo boko. You are carrying something that you don't even bother to carry it, but you carry it. It's true. Whatever it was stolen in your entire family, yes, the Lord is about to bring it back alive. Glory! Appointed time is given to everybody, but it's maximized by one person. To others, it's a wrong time, but to others, it becomes a good time. Some people in this 246 right now, they are crying. Why? Because they lost business now. What is happening now is no longer about what happened yesterday. But right now, I'm also ready to change my status. Prophetically, something is shifting. You're watching God Prophet TV. Inspiring, creating, and establishing life. something amazing in your life as you are part of what God is doing. Beloved, God always do um, uh, provide to us time where we come in the table and listen to the Word of God. And the Word of God is life. The Word of God is the breath that uh, we need uh, to be sustained in the time like this one uh, that is called um, a pandemic. 
uh, the season of pain, the season of trouble, the season of all that, um, you know, fear is, it has taken a lot of um, place on people's life where people are now lost, they don't know where to go, and they don't know what to do. Now, in a time like this, the Spirit of God come and speak to us through uh, the men of God in order to prepare us or to bring confidence in our spirit, in our soul, so that we can be able to position ourselves in the presence of God. And that's, that's one of the reasons that you see um, uh, me coming on your television right now, on your iPad, iPhone, Samsung phone, whatever it is that you watch me, smartphone, we're coming to your house in order to uh, bring peace and also bring clarity in your life so that you can know where you are and where you are standing, especially in a time like this. As a prophet of the Lord, we have to come and speak to you the mind of God pertaining to this season, according to the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3. The Bible says that there are time and season for everything and themselves. So there are time for war, time for peace, time for death, time for party, time for everything under the sun. Even time of plagues like this one we are facing. There are also time for pandemic like what we are facing right now. But the problem is the Bible says there are time and season for everything. So if there are time for everything, it means in every season, whatever happens, there is also a message pertaining to that season. That's why we are here to speak to you pertaining to the, 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 the season in which we are and the message of this season. My name is Bishop Chandler, the God Prophet. I'm excited being here in your presence and speaking to you the mind of God. And today, the Lord has given me a great platform. I'm here with my sons, pastors, prophets who are uh, 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 in, in my, um, uh, my program today who are going to be able to also help you to be part of what we do because the title is so vital and so powerful and so profound, most importantly so deep, which we want you to understand things. We don't just want to shout. We don't want to, don't, we, I don't just want to be going to preach. This is not about preaching. This is about teaching. So when it comes about teaching, so we need some certain questions to come in every angle, left and right and center, so that we can be able to bring clarity into this um, uh, uh, topic and uh, you as you're watching us in the house. So in this time, I'm going to urge you to take your, um, uh, 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 um, uh, your phone that you have right now and start sharing this video. If you truly you are going to support the work of God, the only way to support the work of God is by you sharing the word of God. So take that uh, um, the finger of yours, touch the share button, and share it to your group, share it to your friend, invite somebody. Tell them that the man of God is live right now. We need to go to the table to eat, to uh, to get the knowledge, and to get uh, uh, stronger. Remember, the Bible says, when there is no vision, the people perish. And when we talk about vision, we talk about the understanding of God. And if we don't understand, we don't understand God, then we are troubled. So wisdom knowledge is important so in this moment i want you to begin to invite friends and family share this video right now everybody start sharing it everybody if all of us we can share this video we're going to reach the original and god is going to release his word remember it says it's not coming until you send this word we're supposed to be and somebody wants to get this word tight right now we are prepared and we put ourselves together so that we can be able to come to you so share this video I invite somebody, watch party with somebody, and tell them that it is a time that we release our mind and get ourselves ready to listen to the word of God. Men and men of God are joining us online, and uh, we want to say thank you for joining us and also acquiring wisdom, knowledge, not only that, applying that to the life of the believer to bring clarity in this season. We are so excited. Today we have a great topic. We have a great topic. And the topic that we are going to discuss today here, I don't know if anyone can give to me, or my sons will give me the topic that we are having today, start sharing that, um, that topic with us. Today we are going to talk about Satan, yes. his or origin, Satan and his origin, yes. and we are going to talk about his origin and uh, his dwelling, and his dwelling. Where is he coming from? We are talking about so, Satan, where is he coming from? Where is he originated from? And where is his dwelling? Mm -hmm. 
Where is his dwelling? Then we have to talk about where is what is his power. Is. So we have to talk about those things, three things. Because why we have to talk about these things? Because it is very difficult for you to fight someone that you don't know. Mm -hmm. But right now we are facing what we call pandemic, and we are facing the enemy that is called Corona. Now everybody they can't identify Corona mm -hmm. as for who he is. That's why you see. We have many call doctors, we have scientists of different places of the world. They are looking for what? Solution. Yes. They are looking for cure. Yes. Why? Because they, they, they can't know where Corona is coming from. Yes. And they need it now. For them to be able to fight Corona, they need to know the origin of Corona. Yes. And, and they need to know where Corona is coming from. Yes. And, and the way is great. And they need to know the power that is behind Corona. Yes. So everything in life, if you want to be able to uh, challenge it, you must understand the, the, these three uh, um, uh, uh, things. The, the, the origin of the person, the origin of, 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 of that thing, the origin of the, the origin of the situation around you, and you need to know the dwelling, the dwelling, where his power is possessed, where his throne is, where is based. If you know about that, you know about his foundation, then you are gonna be able to challenge him. Why? Because you know he's coming from where like, where about, you know his dwelling, then you also know the power that he possesses. Now when you know the power that he possesses, then you can begin to look for what you can do to fight that power because you know the, uh, you know the, the, the level that, that quantify uh, the power that he possesses. So we are so excited uh, that we believe God that uh, your life will never be the same again. No, this can be like a, a, a starting question. People say, why not talk about God? Why talk about Satan? Because Satan seems to be an enemy of people. Satan seems to be a destroyer. Why not talk about God? Why talk about Satan? Now, the reason and the question and the answer we start the start our question is that we cannot talk about God if we don't talk about Satan. Mm -hmm. The reason why we are created, we are create, uh, we, we are and we are on earth. The reason why we are on the earth here and the reason why we call on God because they say if there's no Satan. People are not going to call for uh, for protection. Yes, mm. If there is not a, a, a Satan, people are not going to talk about pandemic. Mm. If there is no Satan, people are not going to talk about war. If there is no Satan, people are not going to talk about anger. If I'm not there is no Satan, people are not going to talk about tribulation. So we have to talk about Satan mm. because the problem is if we talk, we don't talk about Satan. It is a problem because often time in the church we talk about God. And when we talk about God, it is good we have to know about our God. And we also need to know the enemy of our God. We also need to know the enemy who is, who, uh, is attacking our life. Now, this is one of the, the topics that is, is, is rare preached in the church or is, is, is not discussed in, 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 uh, uh, in, uh, in the deep when people of God will understand exactly who. The Satan that we are talking about, it is. So it is important that we understand this. Now, I want you to understand it because if we don't understand this particular person that we're talking about here, then the church is doomed. Mm -hmm. Then the church is in trouble. Because right now, uh, we have so many messages around the world. We have so many preachers that are talking about uh, um, uh, Corona is. Is, is, is this, uh, people are talking Corona is this, people are talking Corona is this, and all of a sudden if you go on, 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 on the media today, people are talking about the book of Revelation, people are talking about the coming of Christ, people are talking about the tribulation, people are talking about all these kind of things. So if you look at these things in general, you will see deep somewhere there's a fear. So that fear now lead people to begin to search more, to study more, to look more for them to understand what is what. Mm -hmm. So what is the cause of all this? It's Satan. Now if we do not understand who Satan himself is, then we are going to be in trouble. And continuously, we are going to um, live into trouble. Now, uh, as we start my topic, the first one we say is what? The first one that we uh, you just said is uh, his origin. Origin. His origin. Origin. Yes. Glory be to Jesus Christ. So now we are talking about Satan, the origin of Satan. Yes. We are starting first on talking about the origin of Satan. Okay. 
what is Satan origin have to do with the mankind? You could have find out soon. But we are talking about Satan origin. Now you know there is there is, there is some um, confusion when it comes into the body of Christ, when it comes into the children of God, and when it comes into reading of God, in the reading, reading of the word. Many people don't read the word of God, but uh, they just read the word of God. There is there is there is um, uh, there is this um, the Bible says when God appeared to Joshua, mm -hmm. I said to Joshua, he said he said this book of life, mm -hmm. this book of the law, yes. shall not go away from your mouth. Mm -hmm. He said to Joshua, he said, meditate. Mm -hmm. He did not say to Joshua, he said, read it every day. Mm -hmm. No, he said to Joshua, meditate. Mm -hmm. He said, meditate. Now, there are certain things that is in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Many people, they can't understand what is in the Bible because people, they read the Bible, mm -hmm. but they don't meditate mm -hmm. in the Word of God. Mm -hmm. You see, the revelation of God does not come on the reading of the Word. Mm -hmm. The revelation of God comes on the meditation mm -hmm. of the Word. Mm -hmm. That's why when God appeared to Joshua, he said, meditate. Mm -hmm. You see, there is a way to meditate. There is a, there is a reason why it should be meditated. Mm. There is a reason why it should be all by all over and over. Mm. Uh, 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 so I want you to understand that this is very, very important because when people read of the word of God, and we have received so many preaching mm. from here and from here, mm. from here, people are talking about uh, the word of God and all that. If you read the word of God now, the first. Bible, the, the first book in the Bible is called Genesis, right? Yes. The first book in the Bible is called Genesis. Genesis. Yes. Now, when you begin to go to the, 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 the creation, you begin to read it, uh, the creation, you will understand that the Bible says that the Lord created the world uh, uh, the first day, second day, the third day, the, 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 the fourth day, the fifth day, the sixth day, and the seventh day, God did what? Rested. And the Bible is talking, uh, is talking to us about what? Seven days. Mm -hmm. Now, when you go to the creation, you understand that the Bible, you see, the Bible says that in the beginning, in the beginning, the earth was formless and void. Now, God, as God in His supremacy, God, He was not in the world, and there was no world. Okay, okay. the world it was formless and void. It means there was no any form that you can call world. Right? Then God was outside of the time because there was no time. There was God was outside of the time. And God he was not called God because he was li he, he lived in eternity. And eternity means eternal. So it means forever. And God was not called God. He existed before the creation. Now, as God begin to move His eyes in the, in, in, into the, uh, 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 into every way, the Bible says now the Spirit of the Lord discover that the earth was formless and void. Hallelujah! Amen. Amen. And when God saw that, the Spirit of God saw that. The Bible says, the, the Bible first started by saying the Spirit mm. of God. Okay. The Spirit of God. Why they say the spirit and they put God first and God says God the second? Because in the first place there was no God, there was first the spirit. It was only spirit. There was God the spirit. That's called internal God. Mm -hmm. Now, internal, like I said, means some will live in eternity. Mm -hmm. That's what the Bible says. In the beginning, the spirit of the, the Bible says the spirit of God was moving in the surface of the world. So that spirit is the one that discovered. Now, when they discover that God did it, they begin to do what? They begin to speak. Mm -hmm. You read the book of Genesis, you see that when God began to speak, then God he saw that the, the darkness, uh, it was, there was darkness, it was light. God divided the darkness and, and light. And God called the darkness night, and he called the day, uh, the, the day, the light, day. Right? And the Bible said, in the morning, there was a face. Day, right? God create first. Yes. When he first create, he separate the darkness. He separate darkness and what? And the light. light. And he say that this one is called darkness, this one is called what? Light. Now, darkness he call it night. Light he call it yes. the day. And the Bible say, in the morning. Keep that morning. Okay. You will come up with that one. I'm going to ask you that one. Okay. They say, in the morning. Right? Then it was the first day. Okay? 
Then it was the first day. Then God began to exercise the function of being God because he created now. Now, if you begin to now read the word, you will see the first reference they say the spirit of God it was in the chapter one. Mm. As you continue going, they were no longer saying the spirit of God. They begin to say, God create, God create, mm. God create. That's right. Mm. Because the first thing it was the spirit of God. Mm. The spirit of God. God. The spirit number one, second, God. That means it's a spirit that gives birth to a God. Mm. It was not God, mm. but the spirit that sees. And that spirit give birth to God. Mm. Then God become God. That is when you hear the first name that was pronounced Yahweh. Mm. Yahweh, it means a creator. Mm. Yahweh, okay. Elohim, the creator. Mm. So then, if you begin to read the verses in Genesis, mm. then you will see now, the, the, the Bible continues saying now, God creates mm. the fish. God creates mm. the bed. God creates this. It was no longer about the spirit of God created this. God created. Because he become now the creator of the universe and do that which was in it. Okay? Now, now, on, on, on Genesis, if you read the word of God, the Bible says Genesis is talking to us, chapter one is giving us the structure, it's giving us the ideology about God creation and everything. And he's telling us that if you come into uh, across uh, 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 verse 27, 25, what did he say? Genesis 1 25, what did he say? Genesis chapter 1, chapter 1, mm -hmm. verse 25, 24, 25, yes? 25, 25. 24, 25, yeah? All right. Genesis chapter 1, verse uh, 24, 25, mm -hmm. the Bible reads, mm -hmm. And God said, mm -hmm. Let the earth bring forth a living creature. Let that, who say? God, God says, who say? God, God says. says. All right. Go back in the verses first. Go back. Go, go, go back. Start on the verse, verse, verse one to, to, to bring so a uh, clarity to people. Verse go one. To, verse one. In the beginning, uh -huh. God created the heavens mm -hmm. and the earth, mm -hmm. and the earth was without form mm -hmm. and void, mm -hmm. and darkness was upon the face of the deep, mm -hmm. and the spirit of God moved upon the face of mm -hmm. the waters. Verse three says, and God said, let there be light, mm -hmm. and there was light. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then verse 3 it says, and saw the light, and God and, and God saw the light, was that good. it was good. Mm -hmm. And God divided the light from the darkness. Mm -hmm. And God and God called the light day, mm -hmm. and the darkness he called night. Mm -hmm. And the evening and the morning were the first day. Right. And the evening and the morning were what? <laughs> were the first day. Now, if you read the first one, the first one is talking about God created heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. God created what? But now they begin to say they, they tell you the description that before God created heaven and earth, God created heaven and earth in the spirit first. Mm. Mm. There was no heaven and earth first. No, it was not heaven and earth first. The first thing that brings the creation is the separation of darkness and light. Yes. And after darkness and light, God see that light and darkness, mm. it was not the same. Darkness and light was not what it says. Mm. Then God separated it. Then God say what? Uh, darkness, yeah. night, light, day. Yeah. Then the Bible said the first day. The first day. Yeah. That is when the creation started. Mm -hmm. Then it continues. Mm -hmm. Then they say first the Spirit of God see. And God now begin to create. Mm -hmm. Since that, the Spirit of God sees. Continue now, continue. Mm -hmm. And uh, verse 6, he says, And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. This is now God's continuing God said, Yes. And let it divide the waters from the waters. Yes. Verse 7, And God made the firmament mm -hmm. and divided the waters which were under the firmament from mm -hmm. the waters which were above the firmament. Yes. And it was so. Mm -hmm. And God called the firmament heaven. Mm -hmm. And the evening and the morning mm -hmm. were the second day. The second day. Mm -hmm. It was when now God created. Heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. So God separated. Mm -hmm. The first day God created the creation of, of the first day. It was the day and the night. Mm -hmm. It was not heaven. My God. It was not earth. My God. It was day and night. night. And the second day now, God separated the humans and now God created heaven. Wow. And the one that remained and, uh, uh, below, God made it earth. Do you understand that? Yes, yes. Do you understand that? Yes. Now, 
while God was created this on the first day, the very first day, look at this one, the very first day, the Bible says on the very first day, God separate the light and darkness. And what the Bible says after separating that, I want to hear that one. And God called the light day. Why? Mm -hmm. And the darkness he called night. Mm -hmm. Continue. And in the evening, the morning were the first day. Okay. In the morning, the, the night mm -hmm. was what? The first yes. day. Yes. God created night mm -hmm. and day. Day. Yes. See, in other words, day and darkness, day and night was together. Day and night used to be together. Okay. My God, okay. My God, my God. Night, day and uh, 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 night used to be together. Light and darkness used to be together. Wow. But God that day separated. And when he separated, he called day morning, uh, day. Okay. And he called darkness and night. night. And the Bible say, then the Bible say what? He said, and he called the light day and the darkness he called night. In the evening. In the morning. evening and in the morning. <laughs> then it was the what? First day. It was what? The, the first, first day. day. Where is the first day coming from? <laughs> Where is the first day coming from? It's coming from the morning. From the morning. Okay? Mm. okay. The first day is coming from what? From the morning. From the morning. Okay. The first day is coming from what? From the morning. From the morning. Okay? Mm. Now I want you to begin to understand. I want to try to teach you something. Because we people have confusion on when is Satan appear? Mm -hmm. When did you talk about Satan? Mm -hmm. Is Satan existed before or not? Mm -hmm. Is Satan existed in Genesis or after Genesis? Mm -hmm. God separated light mm -hmm. and darkness. Mm -hmm. He separated yes. day and night. Yes. And if you go down to say that God is he, 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 he so that the, uh, light he was good. If you fade light, mm -hmm. <laughs> then you put darkness aside. Put that aside. Right? Mm -hmm. So, you call darkness night, and you call the day morning. Mm -hmm. In the first day, in the morning. In the morning. Right. Mm -hmm. In the first day, in the morning. Yes. But before I go further, I want you, I want to understand something. Mm -hmm. The word morning, okay. the word morning yes. is described in the Bible as As, 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 uh, as Lucifer. Okay. The word morning is also described in the Bible as Jesus. Mm. The same word morning. Mm. Jesus is called mo the morning star. Yes, yes. Mm. And Lucifer is called star morning. Isaiah 14, verse 12 to 15, you will hear that. So, morning is where the conflict of the existence of the spirit being started. Mm. Mm. Morning. Wow. <laughs> Morning. Morning and the first day. Wow. We are talking about morning and the first day. Who is first here? Mm. Who is first here? Repeat again verse 1. Verse 1. <laughs> in the beginning, mm -hmm. God created the heavens and the earth. Mm -hmm. And in the earth, and the earth was without form. Mm -hmm. Void mm -hmm. and darkness was upon the face of the deep, mm -hmm. and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the world. Mm -hmm. And God said, Let there be light, mm -hmm. and there was light. Okay, God said, Let that Let be, light. be light. But remember, in the first place, there was darkness. The first place was what? Darkness. darkness. And God separated darkness, and it became two, it became day and night. The light and evening and uh, night. Mm. But God he said, let that be a light. Mm. Okay. Now, if you go back that, down there, you see they say that in the morning, mm -hmm. then it was the first day. Jesus is called morning star. Yes, yes. Mm. Satan called light of the morning. Yes, yes. Now, in the, in, in the beginning, God said, let that be a light. Mm -hmm. Who is that light? And where is that light coming from? Wow. Because there's a light here. Okay. But before there's a transition of light, yes, yes. the Bible if it make that if it make reference first of darkness, mm -hmm. that there was the earth was formless, and then there was darkness that covering the surface of mm -hmm. the earth. Mm -hmm. So first, the, before we talk about let that be light, was darkness. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Then later God say, let that be light. And after say, let that be light, light appear. And God said, the first day, the second, the first day, the evening, in the morning was now first day. And the Bible said that Jesus is the firstborn. That's what the Bible says. It says Jesus is the firstborn. But if I bring you now into the angelic world, Satan also is the firstborn. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Satan is also the firstborn. Satan is the firstborn of all the cherubim angels that were created. Mm -hmm. Satan is a firstborn. And Satan was called light. Huh? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And light start that the, the defined there in Latin word is called is is is, is, uh, is, uh, is, is interpreted is, is interpreted as Lucifer. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is his name, Lucifer. But it was called light. So remember when I was talking about about uh, the, the book of Revelation, ever since I started the book of Revelation, yes. I was talking here. I said the whole book we are having what we call conflict of worship. Yes. Conflict of what? Worship. worship. From the beginning of the creation, there's been conflict of worship. According to people, Satan appeared to Genesis. According to people, Satan appear to Genesis. But according to God, Satan appear before Genesis. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yes. In the beginning, the earth was formless and void. And the earth was covered by darkness. Yes. And God removed, God separate darkness and what? Light. In light. Now, we're gonna go, we are going to go for you to understand that Satan, he was the, he was already in the front of God. God knew that there was Satan. Mm. And God himself created Satan, knowing that Satan was already in the shadow of his mind. Mm. He was in the shadow of his mind and in the shadow of his plan. Mm. And God said, he said that the Bible said that God has us in his mind before we were found. Yes, yes, yes. The same way God has set up before it was created. Wow. So the fall of a man and the fall of the falling of Satan, mm -hmm. he was not uh, a surprise to God. He knew about it. Mm -hmm. God is not stupid. Wow. God he knows everything. Yeah. And he was planned already. That's why we want to bring you in the world so that you begin to understand certain things. Wow. Right? Mm -hmm. So we'll continue now, verse 24. What did he say? Yeah. Verse 24, mm -hmm. the Bible reads, mm -hmm. it says, um, And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature mm -hmm. after his kind. Yes. Cattle mm -hmm. and creeping thing, yes. and beast of the earth after his kind. Mm -hmm. And it was so. Mm -hmm. 25. Yes. And God made the beast mm -hmm. of the earth mm -hmm. after its kind, mm -hmm. and cattle after their kind. Mm -hmm. Everything that creeps upon the earth after its kind, mm -hmm. and God saw that it was good. Mm -hmm. 26, and, and God said, let us make man mm -hmm. in our own image, mm -hmm. after our own likeness. Mm -hmm. let, them have, uh, let them have dominion mm -hmm. over the fish of the sea, and over the four of the air, mm -hmm. over the cattle, mm -hmm. and over the earth, mm -hmm. over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. Mm -hmm. 27, mm -hmm. so God created man in his own image. Mm -hmm. In the image of God created him, mm -hmm. male, female, and created them mm -hmm. and 28 and God blessed them. Mm -hmm. and now listen, yes. When you begin to read in the creation mm -hmm. of Genesis, mm -hmm. there's no mention of Satan there. Yes. yes. There's no mention of Satan. Yes. From Genesis chapter 1. Yes. God created man. Mm -hmm. So do you tell me that man was created before Satan? No. Spiritually, men and, and Satan were in the mind of God. Mm -hmm. But physically, Satan were created before men. Physically, wow. Satan were created before men. Okay. But yet, he was not mentioned in the word. He was not mentioned in the list of the word. Mm. Why? Because God creates heaven mm. and what? Earth. Mm. The Bible says God creates what? Yes. Heaven and, and earth. earth. Now, when you read the word, people they say the first day, the second day, the third day. No, people don't understand. Because we are still in Genesis chapter 1. Mm. And God creates heaven and earth. Mm. And you go down there telling you God creates a man. Mm. 
and God creates all that, then you go to chapter 2, God be, because they begin to tell you that God creates uh, 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 the, the, the woman. And God created man and the, 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 the woman and placed them to the garden. Which, when God created them, that means they were out, out, out of the garden. So what were they? <laughs> when God created them, they were outside of what? The garden. the garden. And after finished creating them, then God put them in the garden. The garden. Okay. And now, now we see in chapter 2, we see the appearance of Satan in the form of a snake. But yet, they did not mention Satan. Yes. They mentioned Satan, the serpent yes. Yes. who came to seduce Eve. Yes. Eve. They did not make mention of Satan. They mentioned who? Serpent. Yes. You understand? Yes. Now, who came to do what? To seduce yes. Eve. Now, when did serpent came to seduce Eve? And now, Satan came and telling Eve about what God spoke with Adam. Mm -hmm. And when God spoke with Adam, he spoke with Adam in the language of a man. Yes. That's the man to man can understand. <laughs> so in other way, Satan, Satan could not listen the, the, the language of a man. Mm -hmm. So the conversation of God and, 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 and uh, Adam mm -hmm. Satan could not hear it. Okay. Hmm. So how come Satan was able to tell Eve what God spoke to Adam? Mm -hmm. That's it's because it was not a serpent as an as a beast mm -hmm. or an animal. Mm -hmm. It was the spirit of Satan mm -hmm. who came and incarnate and entered into Satan. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the spirit of devil, mm -hmm. who is Lucifer, he was in heaven. What the Bible said? The Bible said, God created heaven. Mm. Before you talk about end, end mm. God first continued the creation and finished the creation of heaven mm. before he can come on earth. Mm. Mm. He did not only create heaven, he created heaven with everything mm. that belongs that are supposed to be in heaven. Mm. That is why Satan was created. Satan were created already before God came down to create a man. Mm -hmm. Satan was already there. But there's a problem here. The problem is that when people read this verse, people think like the first day in the morning and the second day, people think like it was Monday and tomorrow Tuesday. No, yeah. listen for me. Yeah. The Bible says this. Yeah. One yeah. day to God is yeah. equal thousand yeah. years. Wow. One day to God is equal thousand years. <laughs> it's not like Monday and today. No. No, 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 no. no. God took his time to deal with the every living and create angel. Create angel. He creates a, a, a Lucifer who was the first one of the angels. Wow. The first and the first creation of the angel was Lucifer. Mm. Then God creates the other angel that you see, they are mentioning the Bible, Michael and, and Gabriel. Mm. Then after the creation of Michael and, and Gabriel, then God went on and create other angels and uh, we have uh, we, uh, um, uh, uh, Sharif and we have 24 elders and all that. Mm. That when God created him who was the chief of the Sharif, I'll forgive you, it's not one When God created him, then he will become in charge. He becomes the firstborn of God mm. in heaven. He becomes the firstborn mm. who was now the chief of the church, the in charge of the devil. Now, why God, the Bible said, when God said, let us create man, he was talking about this in heaven. Mm. He was talking about this in heaven. So he heard God saying this. God was informing them about his plan towards the mankind. Mm, that's deep. Now, he did not like the information that mankind is about to be created and having the image of God. While we are created as a sheriff, not in the image of God. Mm, wow. So now, he was jealous to see that he is not created in the image of God. Mm. Then man will be created. He created it in the image of God. And he 
become, become angry. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look at it, after God saying that, it was not one day like Monday, Tuesday. Mm -hmm. No. The Bible said they had a time. They see that Satan used to worship God. Mm -hmm. It means if you say you wish you wish to worship God. Mm -hmm. So, it cannot happen that God created man today and tomorrow Satan come and tempt. Because if you read the word Genesis chapter 1, the creation of man, yes. Genesis chapter 2, Satan came. Yes. Which means it's the next day. Mm -hmm. You see? Yes, yes. Which means it's the same next day. Mm -hmm. That was not it. It was not like that. Satan origin, the origin of Satan, the origin of Satan is darkness. Okay. The first origin of darkness is Satan. It is darkness. That's why God in the first time, in the first day, in the first place, when he saw the darkness covering the earth, God removed the darkness. Because he knew that the darkness was affecting the light that he was shining in darkness. Then he removed it. And he separated the darkness and, and the light. And he said the light was called morning. And darkness it was called night. night. Hallelujah. Amen. Now I want you to understand the, 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 the formula here. In the morning, we as a human being, we work yes. and we do whatever we do. Yes. Then we call it morning because we can access. Yes. But in the night, we will sleep. Yes. But the spirit being, they start their day in the night. So a night in the spiritual atmosphere is a morning. <laughs> wow. A night in the spiritual atmosphere for them is a morning. So it means Satan still call a morning in the night. Because when the night comes, the spirit begins to function. It becomes a morning. He's the master of the morning. While Jesus was the master of the morning. <laughs> so now, for you to know that he existed already in the beginning. Now, we continue now in verses uh, chapter 2. Read chapter 2 now. Continue. Chapter 2. Mm -hmm. And the heavens and the earth finished. Yes. And all the host of them. Mm -hmm. verse, verse, verse 2. Mm -hmm. And on the seventh day, God ended his work which he made. Yes. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. Yes. Verse 3, and God blessed the seventh day yes. and sanctified it mm -hmm. because that in it it had rested mm -hmm. from all his work which God created and made. Mm -hmm. Verse 4, mm -hmm. these are the generation of the heavens mm -hmm. and of the earth mm -hmm. when they were created in, mm -hmm. the day, mm -hmm. in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. Mm -hmm. Verse 5, every plant of the field before it was in the earth, mm -hmm. every herb and of the field before it grew mm. for the lord god had caused it to rain mm. upon the earth and there was not a man to till the ground mm -hmm. six but there were went up a mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground mm -hmm. verse seven mm -hmm. and the lord god formed the man of the dust of mm -hmm. the ground mm -hmm. and breathed into his nostrils mm -hmm. the breath of life mm -hmm. and the man became a living soul yes and verse 8, yes. as the Lord God planted the garden eastward in yes. Eden, mm -hmm. and there were he put the man whom he had formed. Yes. Verse 9, and out of the ground mm -hmm. made for the Lord God to go. Mm -hmm. Every tree that is pleasant to the sight yes. and good for food. Mm -hmm. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden, mm -hmm. and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. The tree of life. Mm -hmm. The tree of what? Life. Life. The tree of what? Life. Now, I want you to understand this one. The tree of life. life. That was the other two things. Yes. One is the tree of life. Yes. One is the tree of the knowledge of good, good and evil. evil. I want you to begin to get the word now. One is the tree of what? Life. life. One is the tree of what? Good yes. and evil. evil. Now, knowledge and good and evil. Now, let me bring you back. Yes. While you are still there, the Bible said the Spirit of the Lord So. That the earth was formless and white mm -hmm. and void. Mm -hmm. Then God said, Let us let, let, let that be what? Mm -hmm. Light. Let that be what? Light. Light. So God he was actually the one that bring life, bring light yes. into the world. Yes. Yes. So God in this one, it was in this tree. Mm -hmm. this, this two tree is represented on uh, uh, the, the tree of life is God, mm -hmm. the giver of life of everything. The tree of life represents God. Oh, yes. The tree of the uh, the knowledge yes. of evil and good mm -hmm. represents yes. Jesus and Satan. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
He said, he said, this of, of all the tree, don't touch, don't eat from that tree. Yes. The tree of what? Knowledge. knowledge yeah, knowledge and good and what? Evil. Okay. <laughs> knowledge and good and evil. evil. Which place are we? Genesis chapter, chapter, chapter 2. Chapter 2. Right? Nine. Have you still, have you, have you heard, have you so far heard the name of Satan there? No, no, no. But there's evil. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Have you heard Satan there? No, no, no. 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 But did you hear evil? Yes. 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 So where did evil came from? So there was an evil before already. Wow. So God created this world and knew already that there is evil. And God created even the evil himself. And put the evil in the same tree with good. 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 Thank God. <laughs> The both of them was in the same tree, evil and good. And both of them they were in the same place that called darkness and separated them, one called day, one called night. <laughs> and when now he began to create, he took the very same dark that he was there, that he was separated into day and night, and he put it in the tree. So, the one that he was a good, he was the word. The knowledge of good, of doing good. The Bible said every, every good thought comes from God. Yes, yes, yes. Every good thought comes from God. Yes, yes. That means it's God. Yes. Now, there is an evil. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, you begin to understand now, where is it coming? Where are we going? So we are going slowly because I want to understand from the beginning when we started before the creation there was darkness mm -hmm. and God <coughs> speak the light yes. and that the light is the light that bring the day yes. that God see all right yes. so that day that light was coming from the mount of God yes. wash the dark it was discovered by the spirit of God yes. it was outside but the light came from the mount of God. Are we getting it? Yes, yes. yes. Continue the verse. I'm bringing down because I want to read the word. But before I read the word, I want to break it a bit down. Yes. Continue. We are on Genesis chapter 2, uh, verse 9. Uh -huh. The Bible says, Out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant mm -hmm. to the sight mm -hmm. and good for food. Mm -hmm. The tree of life mm -hmm. also in the midst of the garden. Mm -hmm. And the tree of knowledge and of good and evil. Mm -hmm. Verse 10. And the river went out of Eden towards the garden. Mm -hmm. And from hence it was parted. Mm -hmm. It came into four heads. Yes. Verse 11. The mm -hmm. name of the first was Pison. Mm -hmm. And that which is uh, compasses the whole land of Avila, mm -hmm. where there is God. Mm -hmm. There's 12, and the God of the land is good. Mm -hmm. There is Bondulem and the oxen stone. Yes. Then 13, and the name of the second river is Gio. Mm -hmm. and, the and the same is that compasses the whole land of Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. There's 14, and the name of the third river mm -hmm. is, uh, is Dekel. Mm -hmm. That is, goes for toward the east of Assyria. Yes. And, 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 uh, Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And fourth river is Elfred. Yes. Verse 15. And mm -hmm. the Lord God took the man mm -hmm. and put him into the garden of Eden to yes. dress it and to keep it. Mm -hmm. Verse 16. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of the every tree of the garden mm -hmm. thou mayest freely eat. Mm -hmm. Verse 17. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. Mm -hmm. For in the day thou eat therefore mm -hmm. I shall surely die. That, yes. 18. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. Mm -hmm. I will make him a help meet for him. Mm -hmm. That's 19. Mm -hmm. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field yes. and every form of the air yes. and brought them into Adam to see what he could call them. Mm -hmm. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, mm -hmm. that was his name thereof. Mm -hmm. There's 20. And Adam gave names to all the cattle, mm -hmm. to all the form of the air, mm -hmm. and to every 
beast of the field. Yes. But of Adam there was not found any help with mm -hmm. for him. Mm -hmm. Verse uh, 20, 21. Mm -hmm. And the Lord God called a deep sleep to fall upon Adam mm -hmm. and he slept. Mm -hmm. He took one of his ribs yes. and clothed up the flesh instead thereof. Mm -hmm. And uh, verse 22. And the rib which God God had taken from man mm -hmm. made he a woman, mm -hmm. brought her into into the man. Yes. Then verse 23. And Adam said, This now bone of my bones mm -hmm. and flesh of my flesh yes. shall be called woman. Yes. Because she was taken out of a man. Mm -hmm. And 24. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother. Chapter, chapter 26. 26. Mm -hmm. This is a 20, 25. Mm -hmm. 25. Yeah. They were both naked, the man and his wife, mm -hmm. and were ashamed. Mm -hmm. Quickly, uh, 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 verse 3 begin. Mm -hmm. Verse 3. Uh, chapter 3, verse 3, the Bible says, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, mm -hmm. which the Lord God had made. Yes. And he said unto the woman, mm -hmm. You, as God said, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Mm -hmm. Verse 2. And the woman said unto the serpent, mm -hmm. We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. Mm -hmm. Verse 3. Mm -hmm. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, mm -hmm. God has said, Shall not eat of it, mm -hmm. neither shall you touch it, mm -hmm. lest you die. Mm -hmm. Verse 4. And the serpent said unto the woman, Shall not surely die. Mm -hmm. Verse 5. For God does not know that in the day shall eat of the, then the, then your eyes shall be opened, and you shall be as God's knowing good mm -hmm. and evil. Mm -hmm. Then verse 6. Mm. When the woman saw that the tree was good for food, it and it was pleasant yes. to the eyes, yes. and the tree to be desired to make one wise, mm -hmm. she took of the fruit thereof mm. and did it, yes. and gave also unto her husband yes. with her, and mm. he did it. Mm. Verse 7. And the eyes of both of them were open, yes. and they knew that they were naked. Yes, they were soon fig tree, fig uh, fig leaves together, mm. Mm. and made themselves aprons. Mm. Verse eight, mm. and they heard the voice of the Lord mm. walking in the garden in the cool of the day. Mm. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among us the trees mm. of the garden. Yes, verse nine, and the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him. Where thou art, mm -hmm. verse 10, and jump, he said, jump, 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 mm -hmm. go to the next verse. Verse 4, Genesis 4, mm -hmm. verse chapter 4. Verses, uh, Genesis chapter, uh, chapter 4. No, no, the same, the same, oh, the same. punishment, quickly. Good. Okay. Uh, verse 14, mm -hmm. and, and the Lord God said unto the serpent, because thou hast done this, thou art Cast above all cactus and above every beast of the field, mm -hmm. and upon thy belly shall go, and dust shall eat all the days of thy life. Mm -hmm. uh, 15. I will put an enmity between thee, the woman, and between the sea and the sea. It shall be bruised, thy head, and it shall bruise his heel. Mm -hmm. Verse 16. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In the sorrow thou shalt bring forth children. Thy desire shall be thy to the husband, and he shall rule over thee. Okay, jump quickly, verse 20, 22, because of time. Verse 22. Yes. Thank you. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become. And the Lord God, God said, Behold, the man has become, become as of one of us. He become one of, of us. us. Yes, continue. To know good and evil. To know good and evil. And yes. now, lest he put forth his hand mm -hmm. to take us of the tree of life and eat and live forever. <laughs> Did you say? Yes. We have to take him really out of the garden. Yes. Because now that he now knows the good and, and evil, evil. Yes. he becomes like us. Though you become like God, mm. you know the knowledge of good mm. and evil. But there's something that mm. you know God now. You know everything. Mm. But there's something that someone is missing. Mm. And that's what's called eternity. Mm. You see? The, inter the secret of the intern eternity, mm. it was in the tree of life, okay. not in the tree of the knowledge and good. Mm. <laughs> the tree of life <laughs> contained the eternity. Okay. He said, if the man put his hand and eats the tree of life, mm. he will live forever. Mm. It means even in God, I cannot anymore stop him. Okay. Wow. Because he said he will live now forever. Yeah. We must take him quickly because if he touches this tree, he will live forever. Okay. That's why I said to the tree of life represent God Himself. Wow. Because it's only God that is eternal. <clears throat> it is only God that is eternal. Wow. He said if he eats on the tree of life, he will not 
that he become God. Because already he become one of us in the mind, mm. in the spirit, in the way he said things. Yes. But now, if we allow him to put his hands on the tree of life, mm. he will do what? He will die. But when you look in the condition, when God created in the first place, mm. he said that the only tree he forbidden them, he was the tree of what? Knowledge and good. But he never forbidden them in the tree of life. Why? Because he knew they would not reach out to the tree of life because it was life. He was life. But because he, he puts the creation in the tree, he puts the creation in the tree. Mm. I'm still here. Mm. I'm still on, 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 the, on the creation. Mm. That's why you see the tree. The, 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 that's, what, that's why you see the secret of life is hidden behind the tree. That's why I proceed a bit quickly. I'll come back on that. That's why Jesus had to die on the tree. That's why Jesus had to die on the tree. Mm. Because Adam was seduced by the tree. Mm-hmm. So Jesus has to die by the tree. Because I told you there was a tree of, on the tree of good and the evil. Yes. He was the two, he was two spirits. Yes. He was two born, two, uh, 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 two first born there. Mm-hmm. The, bo- the first born of evil yes. and the first born of good. Mm-hmm. He was in the same tree. Yes. So after he ate it, a man now received the knowledge of good and mm-hmm. evil. Mm-hmm. He received the knowledge of Satan and received the knowledge of God. You know who God is, you know who Satan is. Okay. So a man now begin to live with these two people together. But if a man is living with these two people in it, this person will not be able to easily recognize the, 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 uh, the lordship of God. Mm. Why? Because all those two people, instead of you, they are lords. Mm. Satan is lord, Jesus is lord. Mm. So in other way, you can't give, you, you cannot have two masters yes. in the same place. Yes. Yes, that's right. So one has to go. And one to remain. Hmm. I got it. That's why Satan dominated on the man when the man eat the tree. So Satan is its origin. The origin of Satan, yes, it was from the mind of God. That's the, the origin of Satan. The, the second origin of Satan hmm. is heaven. He came and in, 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 to, to put short, Satan came from God. Hmm. Satan came from where? Hmm. From God. From God and God Himself. And he was created by God. Now, as he was created by God, God created him. God, listen for me. When we use the word God, it means a creator. Okay. Okay? Yes. It means what? A creator. On the world, on, on, in the world that we are living today, when they say that uh, there is a, for example, if they say that there is a, 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 a iPhone, is the one that creates iPhone. Now, the for iPhone to have value as iPhone, there must be a competitor. Okay. You understand? Yes. There must be something in the market that challenges it. Mm-hmm. Which today we have Samsung. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yes. So for God to be God, there must be Satan. Mm-hmm. God without creation, there is no competitor. But God with creation, there must be a competitor. So that the world we will begin to know who is the superpower. Yes, yes. Who is above everything. So God creates Satan. Satan came from, from, God. from God. Okay, read for me this, uh, 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 your verses. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12 to 15, quickly. Isaiah chapter 14, verse uh, 12. Mm-hmm. The Bible reads. Yes. How art, uh, how art thou fallen from heaven, mm-hmm. O Lucifer, son of the morning? O Lucifer, son of the morning. Did you hear that one? Please. Fallen from where? From heaven. From heaven, yes. Fallen from where? From, from heaven. heaven. O Lucifer, son of the morning. Son of the morning. It's, it's called, in Latin word, it's called uh, Lucifer. He said, O Lucifer, son of the morning. But in the beginning, the Bible said that God created the day. He separated the day and night. In, in the evening, it was now a morning. And the morning was called the first day. O Lucifer, son of what? The morning. Continue. How art thou cut down to the ground, mm-hmm. which did to weaken the nations? Mm-hmm. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. 
I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sight of the north. Mm -hmm. I will ascend above the highest of the clouds. Mm -hmm. I will be like the most, most high. high. I will be like the most high. high. Mm. So Satan, after being cast from heaven, for your information, Satan, before he was cast from heaven, before he was cast from heaven, Satan already developed hatred, pride, because he was already a, 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 an angel of the body. He was already a star. He was already the first one among the sheriff. So it was he who was in charge. He was the commander, the captain, the one that gave order. You see? So he was proud of being who he was. So Satan now, being too generous, he wanted to become like a man. Uh, uh, to become like a, a, a god. Then Satan, when he challenged God, after Satan challenged God, then Satan was able to convince the angels. Yes, mm -hmm. You see, the problem about Christians, we don't understand that whatever we are doing here on earth, whatever we are doing here on earth, yes. if we are not doing that well, if we are not doing that well, Many people they go to hell. You know why? Because Satan was able to convince the angel in heaven. Mm -hmm. So Satan has his God. He, he had his gospel. In the Bible, they say to us gospel according to Matthew yes, and all that. But they never mention the gospel according to Satan. Mm -hmm. Wow. The gospel according to Satan is powerful because Satan was able to convince. All the archangel, all the sheriff, he convinced them. Satan was convinced more than 10,000. More than 10,000. That's where I'm beginning very deep. More than 10,000. Yes, yes. Now, see this one. God cast Satan down. But when God cast Satan down, he did not cast Satan himself. He cast Satan up, down with over. 10,000. I will show you in the Bible. Over 10,000 shares. Mm -hmm. So, the reason why the men need prayer, mm -hmm. the reason why we Christians we need to be stronger in prayers, mm -hmm. is because when God he is he cast Satan, mm -hmm. Satan was not cast himself. He was cast as a spirit, but with over 10,000 shares, mm -hmm. who was spirit angel. Okay? Yes, yes. By then, a man was alone. Mm. Huh? <laughs> All right. By then, a man was <laughs> alone. <laughs> but Satan already had over 10,000 members mm. in the church. <laughs> oh, yes. Wow. <laughs> Satan had over 10,000 members in the church. One man was alone. Remember, God said, the can say it's not good for man to be, be alone. When God was saying that, he came from heaven. Wow. That's, the, that, that's what the Bible said. He said, God came from heaven. He said, it's not good for men to be alone. Yes. The man was alone. When God, when Satan had already 10, over 10,000 members. So now Satan started functioning already. Demons started to be functioning under Satan. The kingdom of darkness was already populated before the kingdom of mankind. Wow. That's why now when God were created people, he was quickly saying to the man, he said, subdue the earth, multiply, and replenish the earth. Because he knew that Satan was uh, in the, the way a lot he had already numbers of demons mm. that if you are not enough you can't be able to fight him wow. so you have to multiply mm. from the beginning of the creation mm. up until now the only to set and fight he fight against the increase of the human mm. Mm. Oh, mm. Mm. So mm. Deep, so deep. because the more humankind develop the easier the 
can fight Satan and his kingdom. Wow. Now, Satan does not want a man to be populated. Mm -hmm. Because the more a man populates, yes. they control the earth. Because the earth was created for man, not for evil, not for Satan, not for spirit. Mm -hmm. The earth was created only for us, you and I, you sit here. Earth belongs to you. Wow. Earth belongs to me. Wow. It's not belong to the spirit. There is one thing that you need to understand here. Yes. The man loses. The man loses the spiritual ownership of the earth. But he remains only with the physical ownership. Okay. So deep. For the moment the man eats the fruit, the ownership was taken away from them. Then you see that, quickly to confirm that, go to Matthew 4. Matthew 4. To confirm that quickly. Matthew chapter 4. The ownership, the spiritual ownership was taken. Matthew chapter 4, quickly. Matthew chapter 4. Start in the uh, uh, verse 1, possible. Some of them. Matthew chapter 4, mm -hmm. from verse 1. Then was Jesus led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Yes. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, yes. he was afterward in hunger. Yes. And when the, tempered, when the tempter mm -hmm. came to him, he said, if thou be the son of God. That's Satan. Yes. Your verse is, your verse is says tempted. The yes. tempter. Yes. But other verses say Satan. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And when the tempter came to him, he mm -hmm. said, If thou be the son of God, mm -hmm. command these stones mm -hmm. be made bread. Quickly jump into verse 9 so that we get exactly what Satan was saying. Verse 9. And said unto him, All these things I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. All these things I give thee, because all these things he was given to him by God. When Satan was cast on, on earth, God gave him the earth. He gave him the possession of the earth. Earth become his spiritually. He can claim the earth. That is why when he was talking to Jesus, he was not talking to Jesus about physical things. He said to him, if you are a son of God, take the bread and take the stone that eat to bread. Yes. He said, if you are a son of God, throw yourself. Mm -hmm. Then God will send one angel. Mm -hmm. He's talking about God will send spirits. Mm -hmm. He's talking all about spirituality. Wow. He's not talking about the physicality. Because mm -hmm. Jesus possessed the physicality because he was born from a human. Oh, right. Now he has the physical right, but he did not have the spiritual right. So the spiritual right of the earth was given to Satan. Yes, yes. So Satan said, yes, he was given to me. <laughs> so I can give to whosoever I wish. Yes. Wow. Mm. So Satan always has been fighting all along for the decrease of a mankind so that he can be able to do what? To possess the earth. The reason why he cannot possess the earth physically is because Mankind now develop and now they are claiming their, their territory. Mm -hmm. That is why Satan, he makes sure that when the mankind develop, they become populated, they will now begin to do what? Indicate an evil mind on mankind to upset them and God so that God will do what? He will, he will, he will get away with the mankind. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. Okay. That is his mission. His mission is the man to be not on earth because he believed the earth become his kingdom. Wow. His mm. dwelling. His mm. dwelling. Mm. Sounds deep. So deep. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now God cast them out. Now demons, when they also came on earth, they started developing in the spiritual atmosphere the same way as women, uh, as uh, we as mortal, yes. we develop the same way as demons were developing in the camp of a uh, demon. Now demons yes. and, 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 and Satan, they were cast on earth, but they were not living, they are not living on earth as we live. Why? Because they do not have a physical uh, 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 body. Yes. So they live in the space, they live into uh, what we call race. They live into rails. They have a space, a place that is only accessible for spiritual being, not physical being. That is why 
It is that is why if you read the Bible, you see the Bible say that even when Adam, uh, 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 when Adam uh, sinned, God cast him out of what the garden. Yes. And up until now, nobody knows where the garden is. Garden it was physical, but no man know where the garden of Eden is up until now. That is exactly where a man, a human being, cannot easily identify the kingdom of Satan. Because it's a spiritual realm. It's, right. it's only a spiritual being who knows where Adam, where the where Garden of Eden is. Because it's Eden in the highest of a mortal. The kingdom of God can only be seen by the spirit. Everywhere Paul goes, he calls the, 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 the ghost. It's like a point, it's like spots, it's like a, 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 a small. Uh, uh, junctions, wait for them to go. It's like if you go to church here, you go to church here, you go to church here. Mm -hmm. So it's like um, a, a point of contact mm -hmm. where you can come to seek power of, of darkness. Mm -hmm. And the DF2 has left to contact the spiritual darkness which is in the heavenly realms. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. I'm fighting against the person that died, I'm, I'm against the person that died, mm -hmm. but against what? The spirituality mm -hmm. and the force of what? Darkness. Darkness in the heavenly realms. Places. So it is not here in the heavenly places. It's somewhere ar ar around uh, 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 the heaven which the man cannot see. And we also know that there is also a space which is on the bottom less pit where the devil is uh, 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 held his territory with the marine kingdom. And these things, it is important that the people of God should understand where the devil is and how he functions. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, the mission of Satan, the mission of Satan is to become like what? Like is become like what? Like you just read it there. What did he say? He said, he said, I'm going to establish my kingdom to be like the most high. To be like what? The most high. So he wants to become the most high. So Satan is also called a most high. What God is called the most high. Satan is also called Lord. Well, God is also called Lord. He's biblical. <laughs> wow. Continue that basis. So we finish it. We we'll push it up. Um, Isaiah 14, now on verse 15. Mm -hmm. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, mm -hmm. to the sides of the pit. Yes. They, they that see they shall now look upon thee mm -hmm. and consider thee same. Mm. Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, mm. that did uh, shake kingdoms, mm. that made the world as a wilderness mm. and destroyed the cities, mm -hmm. there that uh, opened not the house of his prisoners, mm -hmm. all the kings of the nations, even of all of, all of them, mm. lie in glory, everyone in his own house. But thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch, and is the remnant of these. But right, where are you now? Verse uh, what? Now in verse 19. Yeah, you're going far. You're going far. So we stop from verse 15. So like I said, on the, 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 the 14, they say what? He made himself as. Verse 14, say what? I will, verse 14. Mm -hmm. I will ascend above the highest of the clouds. Mm -hmm. I will be like the most high. I will be like the what? The most, the most high. Remember, from the beginning, I was talking to you about the ownership here. Yes. And I was talking to you about the two personalities, mm -hmm. Jesus and Satan. Yes. And I'm talking to you, Jesus existed in the beginning, Satan existed in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Jesus existed in the mind of God, and Satan existed in the mind of God. After the, the mind of God, which is the darkness that covered the earth. Mm -hmm. And I begin to bring you down, and I break down, I said to you that Jesus, Jesus and, and Satan, God now proceed and went and put them in the garden and planted the two gardens that represent God the Creator yes. and another uh, 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 tree that represents Jesus and what? Mm -hmm. and Satan, good and evil yes. so I, I bring to you to see that Satan existed already yes. from before the, crea the, 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 the creation yes. the application mm -hmm. and you see him planted in the garden mm -hmm. then you see him coming why? because he, he did not want any longer to remain only in the spirituality he wanted to come into a man for him to be able to born to be born through a man. 
That is why Satan now, he made the woman to eat the fruit. And the fruit that the woman eat, he, bro he brings two seeds, evil seeds and good seeds. Wow. Then if he went, he went to give birth, he gave birth to what? Cain and Abel. Abel was to present good and Cain was to present evil. Wow. Now a man now was able to produce now evil who is Satan and Jesus who is Abel. Abel, he was represented as the image of Christ. Which he was slaughtered by his brother. He was slaughtered by his brother. He died by the slaughter by his brother. He killed him. Why? Because of the because of the offering that was accepted. So ever it was the offering that was accepted to God. What Satan? He was the he was the of the seed that was rejected by God. So a seed has entered into a man born, man born soul, and the man now recognized Satan and evil. And the two seed has come into the, the earth. Now Satan now from then he had access into earth as now a, a, a spirit, but he can be able to use the body of the man and to enter the earth. Because in the first place, Satan did not have access to come on earth until when the man opened up and eats Satan and the good. Then from there, Satan was able now to do what? To have access. But because the spirit of God and the spirit of evil cannot be the same, then what happened? Abel died. And Satan continued to uh, 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 kill. And the seed began to multiply. And if you read the story, you come to understand what happened. And, 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 and God even said, He said, Nobody should kill. Kill. Why did God say nobody should kill Kill? Why? Cain was a murderer. Cain was a bad person. Yes. But God said nobody must kill Cain. Cain must exist. Yes. He wanted that food to continue. Why? Because the, that it was the only way that Satan should have access into mankind, into the, 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 the things of the earth. Wow. Continuity of Satan, the existence of Satan. Wow. And Satan began to continue and begin to possess children through the creation of things. Now, God has to use now. God has used now separation because Cain and Abel, they come in the same time. Mm -hmm. The good and evil came to the same time. Mm -hmm. Now, Jesus and Satan came to the same time. Mm -hmm. God said impossible. They cannot be in the same time. Mm -hmm. So one has to die. Mm -hmm. So Satan has to be what? Has to remain. Mm -hmm. Satan has to be remain. Mm -hmm. And Jesus has to die. Mm -hmm. Why Jesus has to die? Because Jesus has to die before to redeem the mankind oh, yeah. in advance. So Abel had to die. Now what did uh, 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 God did? He gave now Eve another child, which he came to the belly of uh, uh, Eve. So another child came to the belly of Eve. And this child now, the Bible said, when he was born, then God started again the declaration of a new creation. They were read the word of God. Read, read the word of God so that you understand what I said. You will understand what I see. Verses 4, chapter 4, quickly. Genesis, what did happen there? Genesis chapter 4, verse 1. Mm -hmm. And Adam knew his wife, and yeah. she conceived, mm -hmm. and bare Cain, mm -hmm. and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. Mm -hmm. And she again bare his brother Abel, mm -hmm. and Abel was a keeper of sheep, mm -hmm. but Cain was a tiller of the ground. Mm -hmm. Three, and in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought on the fruit of the ground. No, well, 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 we well, 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 talk about Cain and uh, uh, So forget about that. Quickly go to verse twenty-five. Verse twenty-five. Uh -huh. And Adam knew his wife again, uh -huh. and she bare a son, mm -hmm. and she called his name Seth. For God did, for God, it said she had appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom came through. <laughs> oh my God. So God has replaced yes. that which came slow. And he bring now Seth, which was a new generation. He was born separately. A new generation who was born separately. And if you begin to read that, you will now begin to see, after that you begin to see, you will see, that is when we get the generation of Noah and everybody and all that, and God bring back the creation again, after him. 
There was another beginning that started from there, which was separated to prepare and to announce the coming of Jesus Christ. That he has to be born separately. So God separated and he allowed Satan to continue to do his work. Yes. And he, he left Jesus to come behind. It was the announce of the one to come. Satan started his work all wrong and distracting and destroying the people of God. The agenda. What is the Bible supposed to read? Satan wants himself to be the Lord. He wants himself to be God. So Satan, he has his kingdom. I want, because my message, I'm taking people to understand why we are in pandemic. My message is to take people on who is the owner of pandemic. Who is the owner of corona? My message is to make people understand who are governing this institution. And who are controlling this world? Mm. My message is to make people to understand where are we? That's my message. Mm. Satan makes himself to become the most high. Mm. And Satan is also, when, because uh, 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 God is called the most high, Satan is also called what? Mm. The most high. You read that the word, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Now, God is called, uh, 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 in Matthew chapter 6, God is called what? In Matthew chapter 6, God is called what? He's called God the Father. God the God the Father. Okay. Now, in, uh, now, if God is called God the Father, so Satan also is called God the Father. He's called God the Father. So read the word of God. John chapter 8, verse 4, 44. John chapter 8, verse 4, uh, 44. John chapter 8, verse 44. And someone will prepare for me. Yeah, just uh, continue that. John chapter 8, verse 44. Uh -huh. Ye are the Father, ye are of your Father, the devil. Mm -hmm. And the last of your father, you will do. Mm -hmm. He was a murderer from the beginning mm -hmm. and abode not in the truth mm -hmm. because there is no truth in him. Mm -hmm. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, mm -hmm. for he is a liar and the father of it. The father of, of it. it. He is a liar, but the father of it. Father so he is a father of lies. Then God is a, is, is a father of the truth. <laughs> God is the father of the truth. Therefore, also is the father of light. So why do we say we have a God the Father? Mm. Satan also is a God the Father. The father. Wow. He's God, he's also Father. <laughs> so we need to understand who is Satan mm. and the attribution of Satan. Mm. The link and the, the platform of Satan. Because sometimes we talk a lot about Satan, 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 Satan. But we don't know who we are dealing with. So God, Satan also is what? A father. Mm. So God has his kingdom. The kingdom of God is the kingdom of truth. Mm. And while Satan also has his kingdom. Mm. So now Satan here, he cannot compete with God. But he's trying to compete himself with Jesus. Mm. Because Jesus is called God. Because the Bible said in the beginning, there was a word. Mm. And the word was with God. And the word was God. God. And if Jesus who was the he was the one that came from the matter of God that played like he the oh, Okay. So now listen to this. He's saying here that he's the father of the lies. That means every liars, their fathers is what? Every liar, their father is what? Everybody who is lying about pandemic, their father is Lucifer. <laughs> Everybody who is lying about Corona, their father is Lucifer. Everybody who is lying about uh, is coming from the bed, is coming from the, 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 the water, is coming from uh, the, the, the 5G, is coming from this. They are all lies and bringing lies and distracting and confusing people. Their father is what? Satan. They said what's up. They said what's up. <laughs> they are also Twitter. They are sons of Satan. Wow. Because they cannot speak the truth. I'm coming. Now, Satan is also referred himself as the, like I said, like I said before, we, we, we did not hear the morning light, isn't it? Yes. Is Satan is also referred himself as the morning light. Yeah. We, did that, we did that one. Now, for, for Jesus, read Revelation chapter 22. Revelation chapter 22, verse 16. And another one to prepare for me, John 1 9. 
Jesus have sent my angel to testify unto these things in the churches? Yeah. I am the root and the offspring of David. Yes. And the bright and the moon and morning star. I am the, mo the morning star. Jesus said, I am the morning star. Ah. What Satan also in Isaiah 14, verse 12, is the morning star. So it's what I preach you from the beginning. It's conflict of worship. Satan wants to be worshipped as Lord, as God, as Creator, as everything. Why? God he also wants his worship must be given to him. Is it not in the Bible you read? What what is the next verse? Read it. John 1 9. John 1 9. Read. John 1 chapter 9. God that prepared it. Matthew 12, 24. John chapter 1, verse 9. <clears throat> that was the true light which lighted every man that cometh into the world. That was what? That was the true light. Yes. Which lighted every, every man, man that cometh into the world. The true light is Jesus Christ. <laughs> that lighted every man who came to the world. Light. Light. In the beginning, <laughs> in the beginning, yes. God saw that the darkness, he saw that darkness was covered in the end of the, uh, the face of the earth. Yes. And the Bible said, let that be what? Light. light. Let that be what? Light. light. And Jesus said what? That was the true light which lighted every man that cometh into the world. Mm. <laughs> the, that was the true light. God said, let that be the light. So Jesus is actually making here, he's confirming he said, that was the only light that that what bring light to every creation that was in the whole world, including Satan. <laughs> Read for me. Matthew chapter 12, uh, verse 24. Matthew chapter uh, 12, yes. verse 24. Satan is now de described as Lord. As Jesus is Lord, Satan also is what? Lord. Read it. But when the Pharisees heard, mm -hmm. they said, This fellow does not cast out devils. But by Beelzebub, the prince of the devils. Baseball, 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 uh, uh, baseball the, the prince of what? Of the devils. The devil. Baseball, it means the lord of the field or the lord of the dark. Okay. Mm -hmm. The lord of the field or the lord of the dark. Mm -hmm. So Satan here is, is revealed as Beelzebub, the lord of the field and the lord of the dark, who is also lord. Mm -hmm. As Jesus is the lord, Satan is also into what? Uh, that is why you see there is a conflict in the world between the children of the light and the children of dark. Between the light and the dark. Between the Lord of darkness and the Lord of the light. That is what we are facing right now. Go again. Read for me. See another one. Satan describes himself as the evil one. Well, Jesus, he described himself as the only one. <laughs> Who are we calling Jesus? He's not the only one. He's the only, he's the only one. one. Then, therefore, also call himself the, uh, 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 the, <laughs> the evil one. Read it for me. Matthew chapter 19, verse, uh, 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 chapter 18, verse 19. Matthew chapter 19. So, sorry, uh, 18, verse 19. Matthew chapter 18, verse 19. Mm -hmm. When any one heareth the word of the kingdom mm -hmm. and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one. Then cometh what? The wicked, the wicked one. one. Yours is the wicked one. Look, I want you to get to give me another bit. Now it says the evil one. As Jesus described the only one, he too is described the evil one. Read on your face quickly. Matthew 13 verse 19. 19. Matthew 13 verse 19, the Bible says, mm -hmm. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom mm -hmm. and understand it not, mm -hmm. then comes the wicked one. Then comes the wicked one. The wicked so one. many messages. Mm -hmm. He's giving so many interpretations. That's me. This one says, Yes. When anyone hears the word about the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes. Then the evil one comes and snatches what was uh, sworn in his heart. That is exactly what I want you to understand. 
the description of evil. So as we are going, now Satan is also described himself as a ruler. What where Jesus is described as the ruler of the world. Yes. Read it. Okay. John chapter 14, verse 30. 30. John chapter 14, verse 30. Mm -hmm. It reads, mm -hmm. Year after, I will not talk much with you, mm -hmm. for the prince of this world coming mm -hmm. and have nothing in me. Mm -hmm. The prince and the ruler. So you mentioned the, 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 the rules, yes. ruler, and the, 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 another person mentioned the, the, the prince. Now, on the ruler, Jesus is the ruler because he's the, 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 the owner of all the, the law. Yes. But here, Satan is mentioned also the ruler. And the other person mentioned the prince. Why Jesus is mentioned the prince of peace? Satan mentioned the peace, the peace of what? The prince of this world. The prince of this world. Mm. So I want you to begin to understand these are things that are very, very important. Now, so Satan, this kingdom, this kingdom that we are is called earth. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. This earth belongs, or it was originated belong to a mankind. And created for mankind. Mm -hmm. But when the mankind fall came, then Satan took the spiritual right, mm -hmm. and the mankind remained with the physical right, okay. which gives us, gives us the power of touch, yes. the power of touching, mm -hmm. every access, yes. okay, yes. the physical access, yes. and Satan has now the spiritual access. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. Now, when Satan has the spiritual access, we have the physical access. Now, do not begin to see that on earth here, we have fruits, uh, herbs, we have everything that we have to make sure that we, 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 we cultivate, we eat it from what we have. Yes. But most of the time we use seed to plant. Yes. Okay? Yes. Then those plants is what we eat. Yes. But when we plant, we see seed. But for the, that seed to come, it is now we watering, putting water, but not seeing what is coming. Yes. That which is going to produce is now being produced by the supernatural power that is being invested onto the ground. Yeah. So, which means now we have, we own the earth, but we do not have the, we do not own the, we do not own the power of it is creation. Mm -hmm. That is why. When man is, is, is sowing, is doing all those things, they have to be the land coming from God, like an intervention to bring that cash. Because if it's not the land coming from, the, from, from, uh, uh, from God, man will suffer. Why? Because God knows that the man, death has taken power over the earth. So everything that is here, it is now in the power of devil because he controls the system of the world. The system of the world is not works, is not seen physically, it's controlled spiritually. Because there's laws, there is this, there's decrees, there are things that are pronounced, there are things that are needed, supposed to be said. There are decisions that need to be made, and those decisions is made with the rulers and with the authorities, with the kings, with the people that who have power. And the power of earth that is here is given, is given by God, but it's also given by Satan. Because God is God who gives the supreme power, but there is also Satan who, 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 who owns the, the spiritual right mm. of it. So he employs who, whosoever he wants because he believes earth is his. Yes. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, you will find out that when Jesus came, he, when Jesus came, Jesus came to do one thing. He came to do one thing. What did Jesus came to do? To redeem you. And us, Amen. you and I. Amen. When Jesus redeemed us, he redeemed us from what? The sea. But Jesus did not give us back the spiritual authority of the earth. That's why Jesus does not live outside of us, he lives inside. <laughs> ah. Jesus lives inside of us. Because he lives inside of us, he is a spirit lives inside of us. He's in our body. So Satan also lives inside of a man to claim his ownership. That's why 
thing we, we have now, the seed of a, 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 a evil seed and the good seed, which was planted from the beginning up until today, speaking, through the man who was created to govern and to have the authority of the earth. The Satan is using the man in order to accomplish his mission. While, the, while, while God is using the man in order to go back to heaven. So, the interest of the things of, uh, 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 on earth is not actually ours. The interest of the things of the world is not ours. Our interest, our interest is heaven. That's why Jesus came to redeem us from the sin and take us back off. Bring us back to the past. Wow. That's why when he said to Jesus, he said, if you bow down to me, I'll give you everything. Jesus did not bow. So he did not give him back. He has it. <laughs> he did not give it to him. Wow. So, this is why you now see we have problem on earth. Wait. People who are governing the earth, there are people who are governing the earth, superpower, people who are on top of the earth, there are people who have given power, like I, I was preaching in Revelation, by the beast. They are given now power to do what? To dominate the world, yes. to control the world. There are the people now who are taking control and possess the earth. I think I need to stop from here for now because I, 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 I teach a lot. I need to get some more questions so that I can be able to uh, invent more. Bring more questions. <laughs> Wow, uh, thank you, Daddy, for this uh, platform that you've given us. Mm. I think my brothers and the viewers who are watching there, they can uh, agree to it that the word is so powerful and uh, the way you expound in the word of God. Uh, myself, I've been testified that I've never heard such a, a, a revelation before, mm. the way you're expounding the origin of, uh, of, of Saturn mm. in, in such a man, in such a dimension. Mm. But uh, I think as you were uh, uh, teaching us about... Uh, Satan disguising himself in different ways. You spoke about uh, him coming in the morning. Um, you spoke about uh, um, um, uh, also about uh, Beelzebub, mm -hmm. and uh, you spoke about Satan. You spoke about Lucifer. Mm -hmm. All the definition that you've given us. Mm -hmm. But um, I, 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 I'm studying the Word of God in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 27. Mm -hmm. um, the Bible reads, it says, "But a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fear indignation." which shall divide the adversary. Now, my question is, uh, is the adversary word in this context, mm -hmm. does it mean it's another name for the devil or it's just, um, just, 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 It's simple, yeah. just like I said here, it's simple. Mm -hmm. Therefore, he, 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 he represents himself or he portrays himself as the, as the, as the adversary of Christ. Wow. See, since the beginning, I showed you since the beginning. Yeah. Therefore, Satan, was already displayed in the first place in the beginning yes. in the mind of God, you see, as he was eyesight, mm -hmm. but yet Jesus in the mount of God. You understand? Yes. What is in the mind and what is coming on the mount is coming from the head. Mm -hmm. What is on the mind mm -hmm. and what is on the mount mm -hmm. is coming from what? From the head. head. But the but, but the problem is that when now God released to start his creation. It started by the light. He yes. said, then God, then God said, let that be the light. light. Yes. Jesus was first mm. appear on the physical atmosphere. Yes. Then the light appeared. Yes. So the devil now, because he was the first creation in the heaven, he yes. now began to challenge the kingdom of God, challenging the arrival of Jesus Christ, yes. taking himself as the first one. And begin now to challenge his existence. He become an adversary. So we are talking. You are talking about the uh, being an adversary here. The, the, the adversary we are talking about is the, is, the, is the position of devil pertaining to the rank of Jesus Christ. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's powerful. Thank mm -hmm. you. Daddy, thank you so much for um, bringing so much light uh, mm -hmm. to to this question. And there's also helped me. Um, I remember one of these times someone came to me and asked me. Who was the devil before the devil became the devil? <laughs> <laughs> and you have really explained it, and it, it, it's, it's so powerful. Thank you so much for, mm. for really uh, explaining. So I, I would like to believe a lot of people had so many questions to do with the devil. Mm. And uh, the Bible says we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Mm. And you have really helped us to 
uh, uh, know the devices of the enemy, his foundation, mm -hmm. his dwelling place, mm -hmm. and his weapons as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any questions so far? Uh, that's the coming or the, the message there? Is there any question there so far? Yes, Dad. Give us a question. Thank you very much for explaining everything. Mm -hmm. My question is uh, Is it so possible uh, that a man can be? with Jesus Christ, as you said, he lives inside of us, at the same time possessed by the demon, since there is an adversary or a conflict of worship. Uh, just, 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 you have to repeat that question because I'm trying to get the quote here. Okay. Uh, just one minute, I'm getting the quote here quickly. sending us up your questions. You can send your question right now. We are ready and we are here to answer those questions. You can now send your question via the, the line, uh, our line, our mobile number is there. Send a question uh, pertaining to these um, uh, 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 titles. Uh, therefore, his existence is dwelling and his power and what is our, our, our position concerning these three uh, things. Yes. Thank you, Dan. Mm -hmm. You explained very well mm -hmm. that uh, there is conflict of worship mm -hmm. between Lucifer mm -hmm. and the Jesus mm -hmm. from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So, is it so possible that a man can be with Jesus, as mm -hmm. you said, he lives inside of us, mm -hmm. at the same time being possessed by them? Yes. Yes. Is How, it, is, can you repeat that? Yes. Say it louder. Yes. As you said, mm -hmm. Jesus lives within us. Yes. Satan is trying to fight and claim a body of a person. The ownership. So, yeah. the ownership. Mm -hmm. so is it possible that a man can be with Jesus Christ and save Jesus Christ mm -hmm. at the same time since Lucifer is fighting mm -hmm. for ownership? Mm -hmm. Is it so possible that he can be with Jesus at the same time being possessed? Now, it is impossible. A man who is in Jesus, the Bible said, the, 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 the Bible said, according to the book of uh, John chapter 8, verse 32, verse 34. What did you say, Ruki? John chapter 8, verse 30, 30, 30, 34 to 36. Really? John chapter 8. John chapter 8, verse 34. Mm -hmm. Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, mm -hmm. Whosoever com uh, commi committed sin mm -hmm. is the servant of sin. Mm -hmm. And the servant abided not in the house forever, mm -hmm. but the son abided ever. Mm -hmm. If the son therefore shall make you free, mm -hmm. ye shall be free indeed. If you are with Jesus, mm -hmm. you cannot be with demon anymore. Mm -hmm. If you are abiding with the demons, you are with the demons. Mm -hmm. But if a man, a son of man, sets you free, you are indeed free. You can the Bible says you cannot have two masters. Mm -hmm. You cannot save two masters. Mm -hmm. So if you have deep, you have Jesus, you cannot have demons. If someone have Jesus, you cannot have demons. It is that is the word of God. Because our body, the Bible says, is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit and Jesus cannot be in the same place. Now I prove you in the beginning that the first seed that entered man, it was a seed that, that contained two characteristic is one good and one evil. Now because good and evil is not supposed to work together, it's supposed not to uh, 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 grow together, what God did, God allowed Satan, God allowed Satan to prevail over good, which was able, knew that he's going to redeem the man. That's what I was saying. The blood of Jesus speaks better than the blood of Abel. Because the blood of Abel, it was only the image of the blood of Jesus. Oh, yeah. But yet the blood of Abel, he was claiming for vengeance. But Jesus and the Bible said that vengeance is mine. God said the vengeance is mine. So he waited the appropriate time for vengeance so that he can use the appropriate blood to save the whole universe. That's why the blood of Jesus now came to reach the world. Then God now removed the two seeds that was in the same place, then separate 
he took the, the good seed and he left the, the evil seed. Then later on, he brought the, the good seed. So two seeds cannot be in the same body. Either you are uh, Satan or you have uh, Jesus. So the body is for one master. Oh, thank you, dear master. <laughs> Any question that coming so far from people uh, what are watching us? We want your question, and if there's no much question, so we will be able to stop here. The reason why we wanted this thing, uh, we wanted this thing is because most of the time, children of God, when they're watching us, we come to topic like this is because, uh, like I said, topic like this is rare. Yes. It's not in preach in church okay. because we talk more about God, which we have to talk about God, but we also need to show the people who is devil, yes. so that people will know how uh, to fight. Yes. Because those characteristics that they have come with it, those character and those title and those image that they come with, is the same image that Jesus also come with. Mm. You see, people they know that the devil comes as the angel of light, and Jesus comes as the angel of light. You will go in some of the churches, they are saying, oh, angel of the light. You will think like they are calling him Jesus, but not knowing that they are calling him the devil, because he's also called the angel of light. <laughs> You are in morning. You are going to go to a place people and say, Oh, the morning star. You think like they are calling Jesus the morning star, but you read in the Bible, it's there, but also the morning star. Hmm. You are going to go to a church where they are saying, Lord, 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 Lord. You think like they are calling Lord as Lord God, but yet they are calling Lord Satan. The Lord of the, 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 the flies and the Lord of the dam. It is here. You will go to a place where they are calling, they are saying that uh, they, 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 in the place that they are calling uh, the Most High God. They say Most High God, Most High God. You think that they are calling Jehovah the Most High God, but yet they are calling Devil. It is yet. It's also called Most High. I think, uh, sorry to, to cut you short. Mm -hmm. uh, we have um, been some questions that are coming up. Mm -hmm. Sister Martha Tingwana, yes. she's asking and saying, if Christians are set free by the power mm -hmm. of the blood of Jesus, mm -hmm. When then do we see children of God manifesting demons in churches, Baba? Repeat that. He said, if Christians are set free by the power of the blood of Jesus, mm -hmm. why then do we see children of God manifesting demons in church? In churches. When, they do, when why do we see them manifesting demons in churches? It's simple. Mm -hmm. When someone is when someone is is, is, is possessed by the demon, mm -hmm. we possessed by the demon by, by, by we, we are possessed by demons in so many aspects. You can be possessed by the demon, by the, the, the way you open your 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 your, your, your life, mm -hmm. by seeing or by whatsoever and all, all that, now the demon possess you. Because demons are spirit, it's the possession. Now, when you receive Jesus Christ, when you receive Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. Jesus will take over your body. Demon cannot stay. The Bible says according to the book of Mark chapter 5. When Jesus came, he arrived into the tomb. There was, a, there, there was a man who was possessed by the demon. He was the man of the garden. Yes. When Jesus came, the demon was shouting inside the man. They said, Jesus, son of God, why thou come to meet us? Yes. And Jesus commanded them and said, leave. They leave directly. They leave, they leave him immediately. Mm -hmm. And this guy will automatically receive Christ. And he become free. Yes. Now, when you see demons are manifesting in the church. There are people who are coming to church to pray. Who are coming to church to sing. Who are coming to church being spiritual, being religious. But they are not yet received Jesus Christ from their heart as a personal Savior and Lord. And commit their life to God. Remember one thing. That the Bible says when a one comes to Christ, the old things passed away yes. and all become new. Yes. Now there is, he said, the old things passed away and all become new. He said, behold, mm -hmm. behold it means see yes. is coming. Mm -hmm. See is coming. Mm -hmm. So the new things it begin to come when the old things are passed away. Mm -hmm. So it's a, there's a process there. Mm -hmm. There's a process there that when Jesus now take over you, you will begin to kick out everything that is bad in you yes. every day. But you must help Jesus. You must help Jesus to completely surrender for him to do what? To kick out those spirits. And those demons will begin to go gradually. And before you know it, you completely get to be what? Free. Because that process is taking over. 
only. But now the reason why you see people, some people they believe you say I receive Jesus. But yes, today demon, tomorrow demon is because they keep opening the doors. Mm. They keep opening the doors. That the devil are still coming because remember the Bible says when you cast the demons, the Bible says he does not go far. He's hovering around, looking for the opportunity. If he see a small opportunity, he will do what? He will enter. But this time around, when he enters, he will not come alone. Yeah. The Bible says he will bring what? Seven thousand. You understand? Seven more. And when they come in, they possess you. That's why we see we keep on casting demons today. We keep on casting tomorrow. We keep on casting because why? People they say they receive Jesus, yeah. but yet they keep on doing that thing that is opening the door for devil to come again. Mm. That's the reason why you see we are keep on casting demons. I don't know if it's a matter you have you have, you have answered. The reason why you see people are keep on being uh uh uh, uh, uh what uh, 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 cast by a demon 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 is because they are keep on opening the doors. Mm. But once you close the door, the demon cannot come back again. Okay. Thank you, dear. <laughs> I want to also to ask you something. Yes. I want to know exactly the characteristic of uh, Lucifer. Mm -hmm. Is it omnipresent like our Jesus Christ mm -hmm. or use just agents? Mm -hmm. He might be living some way or you, we, you might know how he operates in terms of where he lives, how he operates. Is he, is he omnipresent? Like our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, yes, Lucifer is not the only person. Lucifer, uh, let me say this. Lucifer is a spirit. Lucifer is a spirit. Now, because the spirit, I want to rectify something. Because the spirit is everywhere in the same time. It's everywhere in the same time. Um, just as I say, 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 say to you, I'm, I'm, I'm live quickly. Uh, the program, just say I'm live, then I will. Say, Jesus is uh, uh, what we're talking about here. We're talking about uh, uh, the, 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 the of the potence and of the presence and of the science. Mm -hmm. Now, Satan is a spirit. Amen. Amen. Satan is what? A spirit. 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 Now, a spirit can be here because it's spirit, yeah. and it can disappear and appear over there. Yeah. But Satan, whatever is happening here in this place. They can see it. But there are certain places that Satan cannot be able to see what's happening. Because it's only made by God. Mm. Mm. It is only God that can see everything and everywhere. Mm. It's only God that can be anytime in any in, in, in way. Mm. And it's only God that can comprehend the mind of, 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 of people before even someone says something. Mm. It's only God. So now, Satan, he will know what you are saying or what you are planning the moment you bring it out of your mouth. Hmm. When you bring it out of your mouth, then they follows your plan. Then you begin to act according to what you say. Hmm. If that is not revealed or said, Satan will not have access to fight because the plan is still kept. Hmm. But the moment you say it, then Satan will begin to act based on what you are saying. Hmm. Lastly, Dad, mm -hmm. I think we are pastors and all this. Mm -hmm. We I need also to understand uh, how these demons, which you said about more than 10,000, were cast down with Lucifer. If we are casting out demons, mm -hmm. are we putting them in the pit of hell or we are just sending them to their master? <laughs> Yes. That's a very good question. Now, one, one of the mm -hmm. things that people normally do mistakes. Mm -hmm. there, are, there are mistakes that uh, people do. They are questioning them. Please make sure you read it. Great, and it has seen some questions there. There are people that uh, uh, mistakes that people normally do. They say, I kill you in the name of Jesus right here. <laughs> we kill you. Remember, listen for me. They, you cannot kill any demon. No demon will die until they go to the pit of hell. No demon dies. Mm -hmm. Even when you send fire, they can be burned, but they will not die. Mm -hmm. Demons don't die. But when we cast them, we cast them to send them into the pit of hell. We cast them to send them to where they come from, to the place of, uh, 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 of uh, non-human existence. Mm. That's why when Jesus was, he, he wanted to cast them, he wanted to cast them where they belong. Mm. 
but they beg, they said, please send us a, a list in peak. Because they do not want to be in the isolation, in the desert. That's where they belong. So, these are things that, as pastors, when you are also praying, you should not be casting demons when you are casting demons and uh, just cast demons and give them direction. Because demons also need direction. Yes. And if you cast demons, say, just out, many pastors say, out, out, out to go in. If you say out, you go out and enter someone. Mm. Out. You are in church. People are a lot in the church. They out, 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 out. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. You just out here and enter here. So the demon need direction. He said, when you cast him, he said, I cast you in the name of Jesus Christ and I command you to go to the top of where you will belong. He will go there. He, he, he need direction. If you don't give them direction, they will enter the next person. There must be a direction. You have to send them where they're supposed to go. What you where, where, where you said they should go, they will go there. Because you have, you have command over them. You give them authority, then they will go there. But if you if you just out, 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 they will out. They will, they will, there is no problem. They'll say, okay, it's okay. I'm just out. And you enter this one. Because you said out, it means you have to go out. So after I'm going out, what next? So after you cast them, give them a direction. Where they're supposed to go. But you said something that is mind blowing. Um, you mentioned that uh, when God created, um, I'd like to say, allow me to say, when God created um, Adam in this ministry and, and he see the devil having already thousands of followers mm -hmm. and Adam had none. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, and you mentioned something that is so powerful that uh, uh, the devil is against. Uh, 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 the replenishing of the world. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, my question is, can you really explain uh, a bit more? Um, um, this is my question, rather. So are, are these pandemics in the idea of the enemy mm -hmm. to depopulate, yeah. de to depopulate uh, mm -hmm. um, the numbers? Mm -hmm. Pandemic is the, uh, the, the plan of evil. The plan of evil is to make sure that they, they, they depopulate, like I, I, was, I was rightly saying almost every day. People are thinking like when uh, like uh, uh, another film who came, he said that, okay, people are now still in the earth. We have to uh, decrease the number of people. And uh, people that are thinking like they say, oh, people. no, that is not the agenda of the devil. The agenda of the devil is to depopulate people. Yes, but who are those people? Christians. They say Christians because devil already have the world. He already have ag agents. Remember, like I said, this, he, he came with ten, over 10,000 witches, demons, angels. Yes. So, those, those angels, they have already have access into people. Now, right now, it's just like a device. It's like a, 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 a microbes. Yes. He moves on people's body already. So, devil has already followers around all over the world. Mm. You are seeing them. If you go to internet, you see Church of Satan is already there. Yes. You uh, see Lucifer, you see the Illuminacy. Illuminacy simply means, it is the word Illuminacy. The word Illuminacy, it simply means we are together. It's a union of devil, of, of, of Satan. So togetherness. Now, it's already existed. They are already there. So the devil agenda, it is to decrease the children of God so that his children will what? Will possess the earth. Okay. To possess the earth and they will dominate. Now, for him to decrease the Christianity is because the Christianity is stopping him to fulfill his mission. His mission is to seduce as many as possible to take them to hell. Mm. Now, for him to fulfill that, he had to do it freely. But he can't do it freely because the church is stopping him to do that. That's why now there is now a need of decrease of people. But they cannot say that we can de we're, we're decreasing the Christian because they open the, 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 their secret. So they have to use it as they are, they are decreasing the number of people. Mm. While, they are, while their agenda is the church. <laughs> that is why I was preaching people last time I was saying, for you to know that their agenda is the church. People are, people are eating. People are going to shop. Yes. Everyone, this everywhere around the world. Yes. They say it's quarantine, but they are permitted for the good shop. They are going to shop. Yes. Mm -hmm. Some people are still waiting, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. But they said 
Gathering must not be dead. Must not be dead. Yes. Gathering must not be dead. Now, the agenda of the gathering, that gathering should not be there. Most, they, they are, they are heavy more into church. It's not into football gathering. Because if, if you look into a, 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 a football gathering, it's more about distraction. It's more about, it's more about entertainment. That leads people into a, 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 a distraction, which they have so many hours on being distracted, but in the will of God. You see? So, even when those, there's no football, even though there's no uh, secular music or satanic things, it's not bothering them because they're still doing their gathering into their secret places. Mm -hmm. Now, the church now is now less activity. While the church is less activity, it's giving them the chance to do what? To fulfill their agenda. So, this is the agenda of Satan. Mm -hmm. This pandemic is the agenda of Satan. In order to do what? To silence the church or to decrease the power of the church and to start cutting down Christianity. But thank God, because whatever the devil prepared, God has seen it in the past. Amen. God has already prepared and God has already put a, a, a victory in our sight. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, uh, a Grace Faith Ministry UK here. I think uh, they are trying to highlight the point of uh, those who are being uh, om omnipresent. Then they say the key point there by Bishop. Satan is not omnipresent, so he uses his equal fallen angels. Mm -hmm. That's why in Job we read that he has to roam about as a spirit all over the world mm -hmm. without using a car or a plane. Mm -hmm. Good question and great response. Mm -hmm. Is uh, see a uh, katulushi. Yes. Yeah. Then uh, I have no, that's 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 uh, my, my pastor. It's uh, <laughs> good to see you. <laughs> no, yes. he's, he's a teacher. Uh, uh, that's very good. Good uh, katulushi. Go, God bless you. God bless you. Go. We have. Uh, Another question here, Papa, mm. uh, which is from uh, Sister Martha, again from uh, Sister Martha Tengwana, mm -hmm. uh, saying, uh, um, are mantles that children of God dating in churches powerful to fight the devil as they are taught to believe by the servants of God? <laughs> this is a critical question. Uh, can you break it down? <coughs> okay, okay. She's asking to say that are mantles that children of God get in churches powerful to fight the devils as they are taught? To believe by the servant of God, in short, like uh, anointing oil, uh, wristband, mm -hmm. and uh, some uh, handkerchiefs mm -hmm. that are prayed for mm -hmm. uh, in the ministry for them to to go about and uh, mm -hmm. say, okay, yeah, when the man of God prays for them, yeah, yeah, yeah. so they can go home and uh, yeah. uh, yes, yeah, yeah. So are they powerful? Right. Listen for me. Listen for me. We need to understand something here. Mm -hmm. We need to understand something here. God is God, yes. and God is powerful. Yes. God is everywhere, mm -hmm. and God can do everything, okay? Now, we are the children of the light, and we are the children of God. Our defense is on faith. We use our faith in order to deal with everything we want today, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, watch, we see Jesus Christ. Yes. They'll say to you, they'll say to you, they are not going to give you anything to receive Jesus. They'll say to you, confess. Mm -hmm. When you confess, that I confess Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. You do it by faith. Yeah. And automatically you believe Jesus is in you. Mm -hmm. So, whatsoever you believe, it becomes yours. Okay? Now, when it comes into the application of miracle, when it comes into the application of miracle, the application of miracle, whatsoever you've been given by faith, mm -hmm. if you believe in it, mm -hmm. things can begin to happen. Jesus said that if you believe, you can move mountains. Mm -hmm. Faith. By faith, you can do things by faith. So, what so, you see, if God, if, if by, by, by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the power of the Holy Spirit, they given you um, like a, things like an handkerchief, according to the book of uh, the book of Acts, I believe, in the chapter nine, where Paul he was given uh, to the believer the handkerchief, uh, the, the and this handkerchief, they begin to use that handkerchief in the name of Jesus Christ and believing in that. That does not say that God become a thing. No. God does not become a thing. But yet God comes, God power dwell on the things. You know what I'm saying? Yes. God is never be a thing and he will never be a thing. But God power can stay in anything. Moses, Moses was dealing with the children of Israel. There was a time that they started mocking Moses. After mocking Moses, now the serpent begin to come 
and killing them, biting them. Mm. And they cry out to Moses. They say, Moses, please, tell God to send the serpent away. Mm. Then God, Moses prayed to God, mm. and God said to them, okay, now I'll send the serpent away, but you're that serpent. Make a separate uh, 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 statute yes. that any time they are beaten by the serpent, yes. if they see that serpent, mm. they are healed. Mm. If they see the serpent, they are healed. So it was a sting that was there. Yes. But God has made that statute of serpent to become a healing. Healing power. Yes. Depending on their faith. Yes. So if someone is using an handkerchief given to a prophet yes. or a pastor yes. as an instrument of healing. God is just, God power, he just come into that thing. That thing is not become God. But the power of God, the anointing of God is on that thing. According to the faith of that person, he can use it as power of God. But that does not become God. So it depends on our faith, on how we, how we project the power of God from, the power of God from within our faith and move it to a thing. We can do from within the, 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 the spirit and move it within and it becomes manifestation. So it can happen. Someone is sick. The Bible says, get the anointing oil. Pray with it. The prayer of the elders, you will do what? You will heal. So it is, the, it is our application. When our application is with faith, it's the power of God will manifest. But the handkerchief is not God. Oil is not God. But we can use those instruments for the application of the power of God. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's clear. Mm -hmm. Any question? I see some question here. Bishop, teach leads to call. Show me something that I read, read it for me. Some of those, those things. I think this is a same from um, Asila Tulushi. Mm -hmm. Said Bishop's teaching leads to the call, uh, to the call to choice. Mm. Choose today whom you will serve. Mm -hmm. But as for me and my house, which comes from my Joshua chapter twenty-four, verse fourteen mm -hmm. up to twenty-five, I shall serve the Lord. Yes. So it is, 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 is agree on yeah, what we are saying. To yes. what we are saying. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is agree on this. I, I see another another question is coming there. Read it. I don't think this one is coming late. Continue, 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 continue. Any questions? No, if there's no many questions, yeah. so I think Bojan 1K from, um, uh, who's that? Uh, from Botswana. Yes, you say much mm -hmm. from Botswana, Bojan. Yeah. Right, so we have so many people are coming, who are calling, who are sending messages. Now we thank God for you who are watching us today. We are very excited. And uh, I want you to understand one thing, children of God, as you're watching me. It is important that we understand who Satan is. It's, an, it's important that we understand who our God is. And it's important we understand who Jesus is. We have one God. And that is the Father of truth. And Jesus himself is the truth and his life. We have one light that was created from the beginning. The Bible said, God said, let that be light. And that light is the one light that is the light that created everything. According to Ezekiel chapter 28, you see um, the, uh, the falling of devil and with the, 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 the descriptions and the things that devil brought in this world. The agenda of Satan is to make sure that he distracts the man eye so that mankind you won't, you won't be able to focus in the things of God. Or get ready for the coming of Christ and have his internal life. Now, glory be to God, because Jesus Christ came to give us life and introduced himself to us, introduced himself to us as the Son of God and brought us back to God. And as we are going back to God, we are going to eat the tree of life. And the tree of life that was forbidden in the Garden of Eden which was God himself. And after we eat the tree of life, then you and I, we're going to have what we call eternal life. It's deprived from Satan. 
and from those who disobey God, but he is kept for us, those who are children of the light. But I want you to understand in this particular moment that we are living in a moment of destruction, the moment of fear, the moment of confusion and fear that is is, is, is a boomerang by all head. And now all the children of God are devastated, they don't know where to go and what to do. What I want you to understand right now, what you see is happening to the world, is not something that is unpredictable. Yes, people they are of this world, they are, they are, they are calling the, they are calling pandemic, they say, unprecedented events. This is an, an unprecedented, uh, um, uh, unprecedented uh, events. So it's, it's something, it's something that's what, that they are calling, they are calling it unknown. It means unknown. Something that came without people being aware, but it did not come without God awareness. So God was aware that this uh, unprecedented uh, uh, event is going to come. But then they did not believe and did not know that it's coming. Now, those who did not know that it's coming is people who are carnal. Is people who are not uh, uh, children of God. But for us as children of God, we knew because God wants us that tribulation will come, yes, the pandemic will come, yes. blacks will come, mm -hmm. and Revelation and Matthew is telling us about these things. But God said, when you see these things coming, begin to understand that. The son of the perdition is already in the world and looking for who to do what to 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 uh, 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 to, to, to bring to a uh, perdition. Looking to people who is going to bring in his camp. So Satan is working 24 hours. Right now, Satan is working extra time in order to fulfill his mission. That's why you see there is confusion everywhere around the world. Now, the Bible said to me that God is not an author of confusion. Now, every moment you see confusion, God is not in that confusion. It simply means that Satan has already taken the world. That's why confusion is all over the world. Because Satan has taken all over the world. Now, God is not in that confusion. Now, if God is not in that confusion, then where is God? Then God is in his promise. God is in his revelation. God is saved. When you see this confusion, you must know that I am close. I am coming. Now, what we need to do is not to fall into that confusion, is to begin to see what is the mind of God in the word of God. Because Satan is carnal. Like my son said here, you see the Bible said, we, it's, 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 the Bible said, uh, we, we should not be ignorant of the devices of what? Of the devil. So, we have to be aware of his time. Because that's what you see is the devices of the devil. But the problem about devil, devil, when he comes, he uses so many forms. He can come as the angel of, of the light. He can come as the prince of the kingdom of this world. He can come as Lord. He can come as God. He can come as most high. He can come as morning. He can come as darkness. So in other ways, devil can also come as a pandemic. Devil can also come as a corona. Devil can also come as a war. So he uses all these forms for him to enter. But if we are not careful as children of God, we are always distracted all the time with all the time with the news. You know, I have seen people watching news, but this time people are watching news. This time people are following news. This is the correct news. This news is never give you false information. Yes. This news give you correct information. Yes. This news here tells you the information of the season and time. When they are distracted, they don't know what to say. This news gives you good news. Remember, the Bible says devil is a father. If devil is a father, it simply means that he also has his children. Are you a child of that of, of, of devil or a child of God? Now, if devil is the father, it simply means that he also have sons in this world. Now, the sons of devil are working right now to be able to, to accomplish the will of their father. Now, we are the children of God. We are accomplishing the will of our, our father. So I urge you today, as you're watching me, I urge you today to stay put you to the word of God, the word of God and to connect yourself with the grace of God and to stay every day 
on the meditation of the word of God. It is unfortunate that a lot of people now they don't they don't understand what to say, what to preach. But you need children of God you need to learn the word of God. And you need to be stay focused in this particular time. Because it's not easy. It's a time that you need God and you need God more. You need God and you need God more. Stay focused wherever you are. God bless you for having time to listen to me, for having time to get the knowledge of God, so that today you are not going to be uh, uh, ignorant of the devices of the devil. Devil is everywhere. He's telling you everything. He's telling everything on his side and pretending that it's God. I, I, I want to finish. I want to talk to people who are watching me. This one is coming just now, and this is coming from God. But I'm talking to some of the, to the parents who are watching me right now. Now, many children are going to uh, are not going to school. Many children are not going to go to school. This is what I'm saying to you. I'm hearing that just right now, fresh for God. Many children are not going to go to school, and they are going to stay home. And the governments are going to develop this uh, um, method or this system of people who wish they already started of people standing home via internet, via iPad, iPhone, or whatever it is. The Spirit of the Lord is saying to me that parents, we need to pray very much. Why? Because the devil is going to use this technology quickly to initiate so many kids into his kingdom by the utilization or the, uh, the, the, the maneuver of the technology devices. Why? Because every children will begin now to have time to be standing via the phones, iPad, and iPhone. Now, because it's technology, everything that they put there, whatever the child wants to know, he will know. That means there will be no, the, the, they will be in the houses. Mm -hmm. Supervision, it will not be that much when children are using devices, which they are not even using. But this time around, it's going to be terrible because the people who are going to be able to be uh, controlling those things, it will be more the kingdom of darkness. Be very careful on what your children are, are using in this time of the day. Because the devil is using every means in order to propagate his good news, uh, his bad news, and also innocent people in the kingdom of darkness. But I pray that your children will never be part of it. Amen. I pray that the blood of Jesus will cover your children. Amen. I pray that the grace of God will be up, it will abide in your house in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. They shall be the children of the light, but not of darkness. Amen. May the grace of God be on you and your family right now as I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My prayer today that you will not be uh, uh, you you will not be seduced by devil. My prayer today for you is that you are not going to be confused by the enemy. My prayer today to you is that you are not going to be uh, manipulated by the evil and, and you are not going to be uh, 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 confused by his uh, plans and traps because he's, he's very good into that. But my prayer to you, you will discover therefore when it comes to you in whatsoever form. Even when you use the form as Lord, you will know that this is not the true Lord. If it, if it comes in the form of light, you will know that this is the true light. If it comes in the true of the, 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 uh, the form of morning, you know that this is not the true morning. I pray that the morning star with Jesus Christ will appear to you and God will give you wisdom and revelation of the will of God for you to be able to become a giver of the will of God and, 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 the, uh, and the peace that will come from your mouth will be able to sustain so many families and people are going to give their life to Christ and become free and save the, the only God, the only matter who is Jesus Christ. Amen. I rebuke the devil with all his action and his all his attribution. And I expose his character and I expose his color and his identity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Stay put and stay focused. And remember, Jesus loves you. My name is Bishop Jasper, God Godfather. I'm so excited and I'm grateful that you spend this time listening to the word of God and the revelation of God. Remember, God is supreme God. It's all time, every way, any time, any way. You can do you good. The only thing you need to call in the name of God and he will respond to you. 
I love you. I'm looking forward to see you tomorrow. It's uh, Thursday. We don't have our service, as we say. We better have our service on Friday. So we have a service Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The reason being is because, because uh, um, um, our, our movement is, 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 is controlled and our, move, our, made, our movement is made up. Um, uh, strict this side, so we, we put some cap in order to allow the media people and everybody to come together. So we pray that the Almighty God bless you as you are watching us and uh, stand strong and stand fine. Do not allow fear. This panic, this uh, pandemic, this uh, corona, it is, is, is the, only, the, the only thing is targeting first is fear. Once fear is there, it penetrates. But you are saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. I pray for everybody who has the symptom for corona. I command that corona to bow in the name of Jesus. Amen. I rebuke corona in the name of Jesus. Amen. I strengthen your immune system by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. You shall not go down, yes. but you shall stand still, yes. and you shall grow until Jesus Christ comes. Amen. I speak peace over your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom. Stay blessed, stay true, stay connected. God bless you. We love you. I'm looking forward to see you again in this particular time, Friday, 8 p.m., in the same place, in the same platform. Stay blessed and stay tuned. Shalom. Bye-bye. In the midst of confusion, tribulation, attack, in the midst of all this that you see is happening in the world, therefore all is at work. What is happening to the world? Is it God's silence? Philippians 4 verse 6 Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Do not allow the enemy to overtake you. Fear is not of God. Because Jesus Christ is indeed in control and in the safe of the church. So stay put. Every time when you feel like you are tired or you feel like you are lost, lift up your hands in the mountain. Where your help come from? Come from the maker of heaven and earth. And I tell you, that door is still open. Heaven is still open. The, the gate of heaven is still open. The door and the windows is still open. open. As you stay focused, pick up the phone, call your friends and neighbors, encourage them uh, with the Bible, with the Word of God, and tell them that this is just the time and it's passing. So it's the only one thing that you will not pass, like I said, the Word of God. So stay tuned, stay connected. <laughs> Zala qui n'a gai, côté pâté, pas simple, réaliste, destiné à la mort. Assujetti par le ténèbre, bon mon anga et zala qui informe vide. Nakanga ma canop la grande vie, Nazanga ka et l'eau quoi pour le bas. Kasitango na koutani na Jésus, Mikamwa kokama, a konanenga te. Na télémi asimi na loboko. Alubinanga va en